since Irwindale, since I've driven this hot rod. Atlanta is right around the corner and uh, we got a new year, new look. Couple uh, modifications to the vehicles uh, that we're, we're doing. We uh, made some small adjustments, you know. I like to say don't mess with perfection, but uh, race cars are never or are always far from perfect. Um, so we made a couple adjustments in the off season, uh, mainly focused on how the vehicle reacts to uh, transitioning uh, from side to side. So today we're gonna do some testing. We've got a little mini mock Atlanta. And uh, once we're done testing here, we're gonna go to the lab and uh, do some more testing and fun having. So uh, really looking forward to it. I hope you guys are as well. Let's get after it. Take me for a lap dog so I can see. So I can see what we're doing. Dude, he could boost me. What? Dang! Woo! What's that clip? Oh! Ah! Okay, okay. Okay, I see. Yeah. She got a little oh, I feel a little, I feel a little ABS coming in. Oh no, that's just plow. Oh, okay. okay. Mr. Plow. And then right here, the exit. And there's our exit. It's really red, official. Red it's really official, Chelsea. It is. You didn't put all these cones out, <laughs> did you? Absolutely not. <laughs> all right. All right. And we could technically just exit out there and go up and back so that we're not messing with other car, other vehicle traffic. Yeah, I, don't, I mean, there's only the two of us. So I feel like it'd be fun. Okay. Um, but yeah. That's it. That's our course for today. All right, bro. New year. Not new cars. I mean, they look new. But new suits. Yeah. Let's open, these, let's open this these bad boys up. Too. Can you hold this for us, please? Same sizing or what? Uh, <laughs> I think I went down a little bit. It, because these are new. New, it's new. Like, can I get this box? Because these are new, out. new suits. Really, oh, bro? Oh, we got the right ones. Oh, dude, look at this. Granted. They're fully sublimated. Dude some F1 type stuff going on here, bro. Can you explain what sublimated means? So normally our suits would be, oh, that is I sick. Normally our suits would be uh, basically suit material with uh, screen printing on them. Yeah, perfect. And now they are fully sublimated. So there's no screen print. It's all basically in the fabric. So Dude, light. look at that quality, bro. like the, bro. the weight of a normal pair of pants. Dude, oh, A-Stars kills they it. They do, 100%. This is sick. Oh, dude, check this out. For our feetsies, dude. <laughs> oh, no one's gonna see you. No one will see you don't have socks on anymore, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no one will see your I ankle like socks. Dangerous, I, I clearly. Little extra bits there. They, they keep you getting excited. Dude, the little sick. booties, that's perfect. I hope mine fits, because I did it in a, we had to, we, we borrowed a tape measure in Moab from a seamstress and Eric was uh, measuring me. So, <laughs> see how this works out. Hey, you don't have to wait on me. Just go out there and warm your tires up, warm the engine up, make them run.
good. Um, really glad we're doing it because we're just finding little stupid things. Just little things that like make the car drivability better. Um, a couple little throttle like tipping issues. Um, and then we're really right now just getting dialed and acclimated with the cars again. And then we're gonna make some changes I'll show you. So this is what we're switching to. We got a little bit of a uh, little different adjustments here to uh, help with uh, camber and caster. Uh, so this is all about to go on here relatively soon. Um, basically the cars are a bit snappy under a uh, slower transition. And so when you're leading, it's no problem. But when you're chasing uh, and the other car is kind of in charge of when you transition or when you can pick up a throttle, it becomes a pain. So we're trying to get that little knife edge back. Um, this is like really, really nitpicky stuff. Like nine times out of 10, it's no issue. But the one time it catches you out, you know, you can over row behind the car. Usually it'll happen behind a car. And, um, you know, we've gotten pretty good at catching it, but the least you can make uh, your brain have to process and worry about, the more you can focus on what you need to do, uh, it's, it's that much better. And those are those little, little teeny advantages that get you to the top. I haven't been for a ride with him in his comp car in like probably 10 years. Yeah, since we stopped doing rides in like 2006. Yeah. The last time was at Red Skogen, Red Skogen in yeah. Germany. Yeah. Changing over to our new uh, revised front arms. Um, you can see the bling of bling. You're doing a great job, Jason. Thank you. Great job, buddy. And uh, oh, hold on, let, me, let me look, Skip. I haven't looked at you yet. Right here, buddy. Have a look. Oh, yeah, Skip. You and Owen are doing a great job over here. Great Thank job. You. Yep. What about me? What about me? Mm, what about we'll me? talk about that later, Ray. Uh, so, we made some changes right. with our arms to affect uh, camber caster. I'm not gonna tell you exactly the secrets, but we, uh, right Chelsea? Can't give away the secrets, dude. We moved it. Like it. We moved things. Things got moved. And uh, so yeah, we're gonna go out and test them. So Chelsea's car will be the first test bed. And then we'll see uh, if we like it. And if so, we'll hop it on my hot rod and get after it. <laughs> Woo! We gotta drive home on those tires, Preston. Not bad for a day of work, huh? Another day in the office. Yeah. Look at these new rims, y'all. Super clean. Chew. What'd you do? You set them up, Chelsea? I set them up. What'd you give them a little setup? Yeah, make the difference like on both sides. What'd you do? I just let some air out of one tire. I thought that was a bubble. I'm like, you're getting these things hot. Yeah, it like went from not being able to put the car where I wanted it to, oh, it just moved perfectly. Yeah. So this is our, uh, one of our old S197 fun cars. And uh, I basically put this together and let the guys sign it out for uh, to go to like local drift events. So I, we built it once, it's ready to go. And uh, basically they have to bring it back prep it for the next person to use it so whatever they damage they have to fix and make sure it's ready for the next guy to sign out and go enjoy but it's been pretty cool because they all kind of go together and work on it together and it's really fun i love seeing my guys have a have a good time
might like it. Like, I feel like you might like this better. Can After you, a few laps. Because, thing? like, Marty, you you're that. always feeling it. Whereas I always just get to where I want and then make adjustments. Like, you, like, more feed the wheel than I do. Whereas, like, there's just not, just a small amount, too little feed for me. It's Was there more before? Was there faster. more? Was there more? Was there more what? More, it's less self-steer than we have now or more than we have less now? Less than we have now. Okay. But I, for me, it's a little too little, even after, like, try, like, Getting in the mindset, okay, it doesn't have enough self steer, let me help it. Yeah. You don't have to palm it or anything, but you gotta, like, when you go to transition, you gotta zinger, you know? Got it. So, you guys heard based on Chelsea's feedback, there went a little bit too far. Steering is now a bit too slow, or self steer uh, is a little bit too slow. Uh, so, now we're going to um, basically split the difference of the change we made to try to get that, uh, to get that, to bring that back. So being here in Charlotte, you never know who's gonna show up at your test. You never know. My man Joey, I told him, I said, hey, come on down. You might get lucky to be able to drive this thing. And I said, you I ready? had a few meetings. And what'd you do? I canceled every one of them. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna take Joey for a quick rip, but I've, uh, you know, he's been drifting uh, our demo cars. He's got his, uh, you know, a cup car. He converted to a drift car and of course his factory five car that uh you guys saw us ripping mountains with and uh i really want him to feel a pro drift car so here we are how fun is you get to do burnouts without even winning i know <laughs> that's the only time exactly. i get to do it i know see <laughs> biggest thing with these is keeping it off the chip keep it off the chip okay keep it off the chip. that's a good idea yeah not on the revometer blow her up well it's just not good. Rattle so, some, rattle some, uh, I'll be judging there. you on that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we don't. That, I've seen everything I need to see. I'm, I'm sure you'll you do well. As long as you don't crash as hard as I did this weekend, we're gonna be just fine. Oh, no. Dude, I know. <laughs> Are you sore right now? Or huh? Are you fine? I'm a little sore. I'm okay. It's life. Oh, dude, that thing was laying on the helmet. That was the worst part is that that bar above your head had my head like this, like it came down. So that's what I was scared of, I was like, I got hit again. Oh. Kinda, right, your head's, the only thing that was stopping my head was Holy nothing, crap. right? Like just the roof hatch, which was not worth it. <laughs> Dang. Well, you learn these things and they can make it better. That's the thing. As long as you innovate and learn from it, it's not, the, not a problem, we just gotta be better. Sideways is kind of just this is moving exactly, and that's the difference between the fun cars and the pro cars because we got to go, you know. Yeah, this ain't your race, you got to go fast. Yeah, it's a race car. <laughs> it's all four. That drone's right? ripping too. Yeah, Holy crazy. crap! <laughs> Showing off. Good job, crank you off. Yeah, so we you get in. <laughs> I think you're faster. <laughs> Do you think your Mustang's faster than this one? Say, yeah, I think a little bit. Or is this one faster? No, mine's faster. Yeah. <laughs> Man, Bond's letting everyone drive today. Who else drove? I'm just saying, him. Oh, <laughs> Preston's been driving that black car over there. Mm -hmm. I like people having fun, dude.
He felt it. I came closer. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. I saw you do a little flick in here too. I was like, I oh my no gosh. <laughs> You're such a lunatic, dude. I love it. <laughs> It's, it's pretty wild though, pretty different. Out, you get all the way to the lock pretty easily. Oh yeah. Yeah. I was uh that sharp corner down at the bottom. Yeah. The sharp left hander. Yeah. I was coming around and kind of losing all my wheel spin. And yeah. then it would lock up and it would gear like a hook. And I'd have to go to third because it ah. locked. At that time I was better at keeping wheel spin into it. Yeah. But then when I switched back to the right, I killed all my Yeah, you can there. grab third, but the cool thing is like figuring out fourth and just do a little like, when you come around that, right, you can just do a little dab, a left foot break, and it'll also point you, and then you can just stand on throttle and drive out of there. Yeah, that's a, every time I hit the brakes, I always pull this. I, I don't really Yeah, you can do a dab of that. A little dab of that at angle will make the rear come around. Yeah. So because that's a big decrease in radius, yeah. like right at the apex, you give a little dab and it'll rotate and straighten you and you just stand on the throttle and drive out of it. Okay. Yeah. The outside one. Bumpers are a thing. Ford yeah. makes new bumpers every day. <laughs> <laughs> I know. They build them every day. Just, yeah, they make new bumpers every day. Hey, listen, the last car I drove, the roof was knocked off, so yeah. this is a lot better. It is way better. <laughs> <laughs> the bumper was on it though, but the roof was gone. Yeah. <laughs> Glad you had to do that. that. Awesome. I'm the one you feel this. Thank you. Oh, that was a freaking blast. We think we're gonna yeah, sucker him out so to Formula D one day. Oh, I'd do it in a heartbeat. Tell me when. I was, like, I, was, I was thinking all those back there I needed to do it. These were the two cones, right? And you're coming down. Like you would pull the handbrake here and you would hold it all the way until your nose is aimed at the last cone, then fire to it. So like right now you're pulling early, getting on the gas and then letting it float and then getting on the gas again. Yeah. Whereas like you would go faster, handbrake a little later, let it slide out to here, then use the forward to drive it through the turn. I understand what you're saying now. Yeah. I wasn't with you. At first. Oh, you were getting some good wheelies because you were driving it off the side because you would come in, gas it, then lift, and that just loads the whole rear. And you were like, Whoop! big wheelies. Yeah, it felt like yeah. it. So these are full tires, not It's cool you can pull the front tires off the ground. Oh, yeah. It's pretty gnarly. <laughs> Sick. Yeah. I just got done driving uh, Chelsea's car. Uh, we are making some really good progress. And we're making one other change. And Chelsea's going to go back out, drive it, and then I'll hop in. Really, really happy with how the day has gone. So just keep it up. God, this is so exciting. You love these test days where you got a good, reliable Mustang and you're just inching up on it just a little bit, making it a little bit easier to drive. All right. Well, stage one of testing went amazing. We are all very, very happy with the improvements that we made. Uh, shout out to Chelsea for initiating the change. Frankly, I thought it was just something we had to deal with, a result of all the other changes that we made with the car and um, that kind of very fast, snappy transitioning was just a result of that. And so uh, Chelsea was really the big culprit to say, hey, there's something that can be, uh, we can make this a little better. And so, uh, he and our engineer team talked about it, made some changes. Boom, nailed it. So now we're here at the lab. We got a fancy new sign. By the way, they kind of messed it up, so they got to come back and fix it. You might not be able to see it on video, but I'm not stoked on it, even though it looks sweet from here. Um, but anyway, so now tandem testing at the lab. Here we go. First of all, I gotta brag a little bit. Look at our line. We came through here multiple times, but look at that on the concrete. It's yeah, like literally same, like perfect line through there. You can see it came through here pretty solid. And then through the concrete, a little perfect line with some donies down there. Oh, Chelsea and I had a little kiss. A little moment. It was a moment. I, I will say though, this is super behind. sketchy what we're trying to do here with these Insane. insanely fast cars and this little lot. With like dumpsters and trailers and everything in Chelsea the way. Chelsea gave me a little kiss. Oh yeah, Jess is going to be pumped. 
Stoked. Stoked he is. Drunk riding up onto me. That's how deep I was. Perfect. I didn't feel much. Just a little kissy. You know, these things happen. These things happen when you're doing cool shit. So, yeah, we're testing out here at the lab. It's also been pretty challenging to be close here because of the trajectory. So what I eventually, or what I am gonna do, is I'm gonna blow out that curb and asphalt, like a, make this turn a little wider here. I might even put like a little off camber jammy there where I can, uh, wagon three wheel, anything I want out here. It's kind of a, a moment, a dreaming come true because when we bought this place, I was like, Oh, we can also test and have fun in our cars. And obviously I've been driving it with our fun cars, but never the FD cars. <laughs>